Hi, I'm Marianne Loya, and we are at Millennia Martial Arts with Howard Munding, owner. Welcome. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about Millennium? Well, Millennium Martial Arts has been here in Peoria since 1984. I started here in 1989 with my three children, and now my grandkids are here, and we've got second and third generation students coming through. And what kind of classes do you offer here? We do adult uh, and children classes. We do family classes. Families are really big to us. So we teach something called the Chuck Norris system, which is developed by Chuck Norris. And so when a person goes through the whole program and gets their black belt, Mr. Norris actually makes the final determination. We send him our grade sheets and a video, and when he signs the certificate, then it's a done deal. So we teach that. That's more traditional karate, but we also have a program called Krav Maga, which is an Israeli self-defense system. And Mr. Norris actually liked what we were doing here at this school, and he adopted our program put it into the Chuck Norris system, and now half the black belt test is Krav Maga. In addition to our regular classes here, we also teach uh, special interest classes for the City of Peoria Parks and Recreation, and you can find those in the uh, Recreation Guide. They're one day a week uh, classes. It's a chance to see if your child really likes it, chance to drive the car before you buy it type thing. And how young can kids be when they start lessons here? We look at them at four. We give them a free class teach them a block, a couple blocks, a strike, a kick, and let them see how we teach, see if they have fun, let the parents evaluate us, let the parents do the white glove test around here, and uh, what it does for me, it lets me see where they are developmentally as far as balance, coordination, and focus, and I can say then if they're ready for our program, and if so, which one of our programs they would be best suited for, because we don't want them in one that's so difficult that they're frustrated, we're so easy that they're bored. And what hardships have you faced since the pandemic? Well, it's been a challenge. However, we were actually had our schedule changed and we were teaching on Zoom and live before the shutdown. So when uh, everything shut down, we were ready to go. We were teaching on Zoom, uh, teaching five classes a night, and we didn't lose a single student during the three months of the shutdown. Then when they opened back up, we still have students that are still on Zoom and then we have a limited number of students here. So we've, uh, we've been very, very blessed. We actually have more students now than we ever have in the 17 years that I've owned the school. That's great. And what are you doing to keep students safe as they come to classes? That's a, that's a real good question. Everybody has to feel comfortable, right? Number one, if they don't feel comfortable coming out, we have the Zoom class. When they come to the door, <clears throat> before they come in, we take their temperature. We send them in one at a time. They put their shoes away in the cubby hole. Then they go from there on another side of the line, which you guys can see, uh, they go over and they wash their hands, and then they're allowed to come in here to the dojo. And then here on the floor, if you can see, there's yellow, yellow tape marks. They are all six feet apart, side to side, front to back, and diagonal. So we have them all separated that way. We're not making any contact at this point in time. Uh, we, we stopped the sparring and the uh, hands-on self-defense, but there, there are so many more basics and fundamental moves that they have to learn and get right. And so they're punching and kicking in the air, or we'll roll out these big uh, punching bags here. We'll put those in between the yellow dots, and they'll punch and kick on those. And anything that's used in class, we have 15 minutes in between classes for air exchange, and so we can disinfect the equipment, disinfect things before the next, cl next class comes in. And where can people go to find out more information? Our website is millenniummartialarts.net, and then we're also on Facebook, Millennium Martial Arts. We're always doing things in the community, whether it's uh, helping out with the uh, Peoria Firefighter Charity Toy Drive, we collect gifts and uh, clothing items for a nursing home. We just did a kickathon to raise money for a child cancer foundation last week. So we're always doing mm -hmm. something, so there's a lot of activity going on. Well, thank you for joining us, Howard. Millennium Martial Arts is located off 91st Avenue in Peoria. And be sure to visit the City of Peoria's social media pages as we visit more businesses throughout the week.